So it feels like it has been a hot minute since I've opened up a Sophie and Toffee box, but that day has finally come back because today we are opening up the Pixie box. And I do believe that the theme is Enchanted Forest. I have no idea what's inside, but I am hoping to see some fairies and to see some flowers and to see, most importantly, some glitter. Not that I need any more glitter because, um, yeah, you guys already know I'm a glitterholic. It's your girl, Aisha Shasha, and I'm super duper excited today because we have a very, very cute theme for the Pixie box. Now, I haven't seen at all what is inside, so pink scissors at the ready. Let's crack this bad boy here open. Oh my goodness, I'm excited, I'm so excited. I love anything that's kind of like magical and fairy-like and, you know, you know what I mean, don't you? <laughs> so I've got a funny feeling that this is going to be right up my street. Sounds like there's a lot of really cool goodies inside. So just so you know, if you want to get yourselves involved with Sophie and Toffee, make sure that you grab yourself a cheeky little discount in the description box below. Don't say that I didn't give you anything. Okay, so <laughs> let's get to it. Oh, it's not all, it's not like all like wrapped up or is it? Hold on. That's the leaflet. I oh, know it is wrapped up, my bad. <laughs> I thought that was skimping on the wrapping. So this is the leaflet. Let's just put you over there just to make sure that I don't have a little peek. Okay. I love the pixie box because it is supposed to be a surprise, you know, so like I try, I try not to, to like see anything at all. Um, occasionally I will, I will know what the theme is, but that's it. Okay, what's this? This feels like it's glitter. Have I just pulled out glitter straight off the bat? Ooh, no, not glitter, glow in the dark stars. Ooh. Here we have some teeny tiny little glow in the dark stars. I will throw an overlay up right now, showing you what they look like when they're glowing. These are very useful for um, shakers. They will look really, really pretty inside of a shaker at nighttime. Lovely. What's this? What's that? Okay, is that a mold? I think that this is a key. I think it's like a giant key. Well, wait, hold on. No. <laughs> oh, I don't know now. A bookmark? I don't know. It is a bookmark. Oh, it's a bookmark with some clovers on it. Oh, it's like a little lucky bookmark. Oh, that's nice. There we go. So with this, you can actually um, thread some like pretty ribbon through here because this little, this little, um, what would you call this? It's a little nubbin. <laughs> I don't know what you would call it. This little sticky out bit here, that creates a hole in your finished piece. So then you can loop through some nice ribbon or some nice thread. Um, and then maybe you could attach somebody's name to it. That's really, really pretty. I quite like that. I've not, I've not seen this mold before. My instant color choice for this would be green and gold. It, it just, it kind of screams Irish to me. So like greens and gold, I think would look really, really beautiful in this bookmark. As I'm going along with this video, please do feel free to like brainstorm in the comments or if you're watching during the premiere to throw your ideas into the live chat because I like these little unboxings to be like little collective brainstorming sessions between all of us. So it's not just about what I want to make. I want to know what you guys want to make as well. Oh, I feel more silicon, more molds. Okay, this is like a collection of molds. What is this? I have no idea. There's too many in there. There's two. Oh no, it's one. <laughs> Like it was a lot. I thought it was a lot. It wasn't, it was just one. My bad. So we got a big ass leaf. <laughs> okay. I wonder what this could be used for. Cause like, this is actually massive. It's, it's like almost the size of my hand. That's quite huge. Um, it has another nubbin right here. <laughs> That's what this will forever now be known as, a little nubbin. Um, so it will have a hole in it once you have um, taken out of the, uh, of the mold. But I'm just wondering what you could actually use this for. I'm gonna have to have a little think about that one. Another mold, oh my gosh, okay. They're not skimping on the molds this time around. Here we go. This is something small. Oh, I 
have absolutely no idea. No idea what that could be. What is this? It's a little teddy bear. Oh! This is so cute. Okay, so this is just like absolutely adorable. I think it's actually a, uh, a tiny little shaker mold. So this could be anything. This could be a necklace. This could be a key ring. This could be a set of earrings. This could be anything. Possibilities are endless with shakers. This is adorable. His diddy little face. Oh. <laughs> okay, what is this? Something fairly flat. Maybe it's like film or something. Oh no, maybe it's... There seems to be lots of them. Stickers, that's stickers. Oh, oh, okay, okay. All right, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so a couple of, a couple of boxes ago, um, or actually, was it, was it last month's Pixie Box? It might have actually been last month's Pixie Box. Um, we got some stickers of the, um, of the butterfly variety. And you guys already know how I feel about butterflies. Um, I really don't like them. Like I, I detest butterflies, but I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to, sorry, I'm starting to like, <laughs> I'm starting to climb up a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm trying to get over my phobia um or at least manage it better and not freak out as much as i usually do so i've started using said butterfly stickers in my journaling videos that i do and stuff um these look a little bit more to me extreme <laughs> oh god <laughs> hang on a minute <sighs> i don't like them I don't, I don't, oh. <laughs> I don't like it. But that being said, the fact that I'm even still holding it, this is progress, people. This is progress. Because anyone who knows me personally will tell you that this would never usually happen. So, yeah. The little ones, I can maybe, I can, oh, no, I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like them at all. Anyway, <laughs> hopefully there's no more butterflies in here. Another mold. <laughs> Moving right along. Okay. <laughs> what is this? What is this? What are these? Oh, okay. But what is that though? Hold on. Okay, so these look like cute little charms. We will allow this little butterfly here. We will allow this because it doesn't look anywhere near as threatening as the other ones. We have a little moon and star. What looks like an animal crossing leaf. Um, we have a little bow, a flower and a clover. This looks like it could be a barrette for like, like, for, like for your hair. So I'm thinking hair clip with some dingly danglies hanging off it. That could look super duper cute. Imagine that in like, in like pastel colors. This will be really cute for like a sweet Lolita sort of coordinate. How cute would that be if you had just like a series of hair clips made with these and they're all just sort of like dangling through your hair. That would be so sweet. Or you could even make these into like little earrings, isn't it? Because they're already sort of hanging, this could easily be made into earrings as well. This is cute. And this, this looks like it's actually a shaker as well. So you could have a shaker hair clip and then have these little bits here dangling off it. Getting my brain cells to rub together here. This is, this is, this, this will be really cute, I think. I think some hair accessories definitely for that. Okay, we have a box. Is it gonna be another empty box that I have to decorate? <laughs> it's a tiny box. What it, ooh. Ooh, we have a tiny box with some different films in it. How do I open this? Ooh, 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 <gasps> ooh. <laughs> these are pretty. Ooh, we have some very, very, very pretty films. Okay, I'm seeing butterflies in this one, but slightly less threatening because they're really tiny. So I can, I can cope with that just about. I wish they'd toned down on the butterflies though. But I suppose Enchanted Forest, what do you expect? 
<laughs> we got some lovely sakura blossoms here kind of like a very like galactical blossom here um what's this more butterflies flying through the galaxy man this really isn't my box at the same time it is my box <laughs> It's like, ooh, magical, enchanting, butterflies. <laughs> right, what else have we got here? We've got some more flowers among the galaxy. And what else do we have? These are really pretty though, in all fairness. I mean, the majority of the world, you know, aren't afraid of butterflies. So <laughs> let's see what else we have. Wow, look at this one. These are going to be really nice for me to use in my journaling, you know. That's absolutely stunning. Look at this. Wow. They are so, so beautiful. And it kind of like pairs things together that I didn't expect. Like you wouldn't expect to put flowers with like the galaxy. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, I really like those. Very, very pretty. Okay, what do we have next? What's this? Is this another mold? Really? Another one? What is that? Is this like a little pebble maybe? It looks like it could be a little pebble, hold on. This looks like it could be either a pebble or a crystal of some sort. I would love to see how that looks when it pops out. It, I think it actually might be a crystal, you know. That would be really, really cool. I wonder if there's any more of those in there because it'd be nice to create like a, like a cluster of crystals. You could make a necklace with that and you could like wrap wire around it. You know, when you get those like wire wrapped crystals, that would look really, really cute. Comment below, if you've reached this point in the video, comment below what your birthstone is, just because I'm just really nosy. Um, <laughs> my birthstone is uh, amethyst, it's beautiful and purple. Uh, but yeah, I'd love to know what your birthstone is. What's next? What is this? Is this a pen? Is this another acrylic marker? It is! Acrylic painter in gold. Ooh, I've used the black one before. I actually quite like these. They have a very, very fine tip. Um, so yeah, really handy. Nice that we get a gold one. This will actually be really good to use with the, um, with the bookmark that I showed you earlier. There's a lot of fine detail in this. So once you've poured your resin in and popped it out, you can then fill in the fine details with this gold marker. I think that that would work. Oh, hello. <laughs> I think that would work quite well. <laughs> Keeps on going on, doesn't it? Right, what's this? Oh, we have a collection of things. Is that a tub of glitter, another small pot of glitter, and a tiny pot of glitter? That's what I think it is. You see, your girl knows her glitter, right? I know my glitter. That looks like it might change color, you know? Does that change color? Ooh, ooh, that's a nice mix. <gasps> okay, now, oh, focus, there we go. Now you are speaking, hello. Now you are speaking my language. This is gorgeous. What a beautiful mix of the pink and the blue and the iridescence, all of that. I can see some teeny tiny butterflies in there, but we will allow those because uh, they don't look very threatening at all. <laughs> but yeah, that's a really, really nice mix. This isn't glitter. This is a, um, a sort of greenish gold pigment. Again, uh, you could actually use this very same pigment in that bookmark and uh, make yourself a pretty little uh, lucky bookmark. That would be nice. And then we have this glitter here. This looks like it may possibly change colour. I'm not sure. I'll have to have a little look in the booklet and see if it does. This is a really tiny little container. Probably got like a miniature animal of some sort. So I'm going to guess maybe a teeny tiny, what would you find in a forest? A deer or a teeny tiny rabbit maybe? Or maybe a teeny tiny hedgehog? <gasps> Jesus, what? <laughs> Why did I get so scared? <laughs> it's another butterfly, <laughs> but like it's completely white. Why did I get scared? Okay, so it's a butterfly and a dragonfly. <laughs> This box is so stressful. Oh my God, I'm gonna need to have a lie down after this. This box is really stressful. Okay, so we have... <laughs> we have... <laughs> okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> this is me just telling myself, it's fine. It's just a white, pure white, plastic butterfly it's okay 
it's fine. We also have a little dragonfly, which I seem to have absolutely no issue with whatsoever. I have no issue with this, none. But for some reason, this gets my heart racing. What's wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> Another mold. Girl, like, how many molds are we? More butterflies. You're having a laugh. You're actually having a laugh. Okay, Sophie and Toffee, now you're just rude. Okay, this is just rude. <laughs> Why? Why? Oh, there's so many butterflies in this box. Like, what is the need? In all fairness, in all fairness, they are minute. Okay, they are tiny and I can cope with these. It's fine. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. That, I mean, it, look, look, they are so, so small. This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> but just after seeing that one before and then like all, all the stickers with the really threatening butterflies, I'm just having a hard time. <laughs> are these bezels? Butterfly bezels? Hmm? Or is that, is that like, like a key maybe? I don't know why I, I want to see like a magical key. Look at these little deer. Oh, how majestic are they? They're nice, really nice. Not a single wing in sight, lovely. <laughs> Those are really pretty. They'd make nice, um, nice earrings on their own to be honest. Are these bezels or more charms? More charms. Maybe a different animal this time? What is this? Oh, roses. Are they all roses? Okay, these are all different roses. So we have, we have some antique roses, some like antique gold roses, and we also have normal gold. Let me show you. So you get two of each of these. Very nice. Again, these can go for just earrings on their own, or maybe you can attach them to a charm bracelet as well, because they have the little, uh, the little holes there at the top. Butterfly bezels. Are you having a laugh? Is that a butterfly or is that supposed to be a person with wings dressed up as a butterfly? Thoughts in the comments, please. We'll make a lovely pair of earrings for somebody who likes that sort of thing. <laughs> Not me. Is this maybe another set of stickers, but like tiny nail stickers maybe? No, it's actually some nice, safe, dried, leaves that's what it is just some nice dried leaves <laughs> nothing to see here just some dried leaves <laughs> i'm scared to pull out anything else what is this something else that's really flat let me guess some butterfly film no okay i'll be safe it's just flowers <sighs> thank god for that <laughs> these are really pretty so these ones you will just lay into, into your resin. Very nice. Are they, are they all separately cut? Oh, so they're actually like stickers. Okay, that makes it even easier then. You don't have to actually cut around them. They've already been cut out for you. So they're just stickers that you will stick into a resin piece and then you can just like dome over it and stuff. Okay, great. Is that it? Is the ordeal over? It's over. That was something. Enchanted Forest, let's just quickly check. The mold that I said looked like it was a, um, a hairpin or a hair grip or a hair barrette. It's actually meant to just be um, for tags, but you know me, I wear everything. So <laughs> could easily make that into a hair grip for sure. What do you think about this box? Would you get this for yourself if you already have it? What are you planning to make? I would love to know. Um, I think I'll probably go for making some hair accessories with this. I really do like this. I think this is a very versatile mold. So I'll probably make some hair accessories with that. The dried leaves, the stickers, these sort of things will really come in handy for me for my, um, for my journaling that I do. I'll definitely be using these as well. I think that these are absolutely beautiful. So there you have it, my darlings. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video and had a laugh at my expense. <laughs> If you did, then please do feel free to share it along with a friend. And if you are loving the vibe, then just subscribe. 
subscribe so that you don't miss the next one. <laughs> Take care, my darlings, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.